All right. It's late afternoon, judging by the sun deep in the horizon and the way it has annoyingly crossed just below the threshold of like the car visor. Um, and the woman next to you, who you know is Miss Stell, uh, she's had her sunglasses on for the most of the day and she kind of just gives up on the visor and flips it up. Um, she's a brunette woman with long hair that she's got up into a bun. Um, and she's more on the tan side, even with the season, and has blue eyes. Um, the two of you have been driving most of the morning to Wisconsin, where you've been told that some distant relatives have been finally found live. This, along with the fact that you've been running away from the previous foster home, is the reason you're being taken across several state lines. The two of you have been staying the nights in small hotels for the most part, but you cross the boundary from about the middle of Mi bleh, Minnesota to the upper portion of Wisconsin this morning, and now most of the drive has been in silence, except for when the radio needs to be changed. Um, but several hours into the drive, she turns down the radio and reaches for her phone when it vibrates um, to glance down at the text. She doesn't answer it though, she just looks at it real quick and tucks it away. Um, and then she kind of starts tapping on the steering wheel like she's trying to figure out how to say something. Um, and then she says, so there's been a delay and it seems like your cousins won't be able to meet up today like planned. Um, but they have an appointment for tomorrow. We'll stop in at the local office in Hayward and get you set up in a room for the night until they can come tomorrow. How does that sound? Fine. It's probably accurate for how someone like that would react. Whatever. And you know these cousins to be, uh, cousin is on your mom's side, um, and her name is Natalia Ramirez. She's married to a man named Steven, and they have a daughter named Marcella. And they live she in... The, uh, Mexican, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so about a half hour or so passes after this, provided you don't converse anymore. Um, and in the distance up the road, you see a figure walking. As you guys get closer, you see it's roughly a teenager's age. Miss Stell begins to slow down, stopping just ahead of the boy. Now you. You've been walking for a little while on this road, though for the most part you've managed to hitchhike in some areas to alleviate the long walk. Um, you've heard of a company in the area that pays good money to run tests. In fact, they also house the test subject for the duration in order to control the environment while they study the side effects of the pill they're looking to manufacture for public consumption. Okay. And as you're walking, you see an innocuous silver car pulled up just ahead of you. A woman with dark hair lean out to glance back and wave you forward. Uh, what's the scenery here? Um, so the scenery is, it's a long open stretch of Wisconsin Highway. Um, so I'm assuming there's like trees and stuff, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So he kind of like, like looks over to the trees and then he, he's like, he just stops and he's like, what do you want? <laughs> Do you want a ride? Hmm. I was always like, and I just look at my thumb like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, which way you heading? Um, she says they're going up to Hayward, um, which, so the company that you're going to is based in Ironwood, Michigan, which if you've been using the GPS on your phone, you know is like two and a half hours from Hayward. Okay. So a lot closer than where I am. Yeah. Yeah, sure, let's do this shit. Okay. Um, then she just leans in and, like, unlocks the door and waits for you to get into the back. I put my foot in, like, a tester monitor. Just, <laughs> yeah. I just kind of look at this guy. Right? <laughs> it's, you know, nothing, nothing strange. Um, the only maybe strange thing is she has, like, perfume on that's a little bit more overpowering than perhaps you would want. Um, especially the smaller vehicles, such as the one that she has, which looks like any basic company car. Does she have her, her uh, windows locked? No. Okay, I just... <laughs> uh, it is cooler out, though, because it is winter. Okay, so maybe like this. Just a little bit, yeah. yeah. Um, and she has the heater on, you know, it's, it's a normal car. Kind of like tan interior, nothing strange. So...
What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Explore eyes, what I said. <laughs> um, and if you two just want to like describe yourselves to each other. All right. Um, that way you know what each other's looks like. So I am um, 17. I'm. I have brownish black hair. It's not completely black, um, but I'm a model with blue eyes, and um, I think I said I was. I'm just gonna say I'm five eleven. I'm my height. Just, yeah. So think of me with like a fro-ish kind of hair <laughs> and then blue eyes. <laughs> it's good. It just looks so weird. This is <laughs> in my mind. I'm just thinking of them like. What? But it'd be like a like a like, like a like a lighter fro too. It's not like a black fro. I it's know it's like brown. Like, like, yeah. Yep. So I have buzz cut black hair and. He's <laughs> Um, he has pretty dark eyes, and he's darker skin color because he's Spanish, and he's about six foot four. I was now when he's bald. So his yeah. seat is like pushed back pretty far. So, so he's, he's bald, yeah. Does he have like the, the one well, he's got right like, there and just probably like this much hair? Like does, does he have, does, okay, so yeah, most good fair. Okay, cool. So he's probably just fair. And my guy's wearing like a, a jeans with like a torn pants and shit like that kind of thing. They're not like completely shit clothes, but they don't look the best. That's no, just the clothes that I get from the <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um. She turns back and she's like, my name is Miss Sal. Um, like I said, I can get you up to Hayward, but uh, where are you going? Uh, what was the name of the place that's doing the, the testing of pills? Uh, you're going to Ironwood, Michigan. I'm going to Ironwood, Michigan. And I, I guess that's all I say. So I'm just going to, she's asking why, what I'm doing. Where you're going. Where I'm going. Um, and I'd say that, that test, like, test facility basically in Ironwood, Michigan. Oh, you're going to uh, Panchia Pharmaceuticals? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I've been hearing about the the tests that the the tests that they're doing. Um, heard any bad results? Not that I've really heard. It's m mainly you know just kind of like they're testing for the rashes and things like that that people have been getting and just like kind of getting the formula right at this point. Cool. I'm trying to make some money. Fair enough. And Aren't just, we all? He doesn't really interact with people also. He's like, niggas out here is broke. <laughs> she kind of just like, okay. <laughs> yes. Ritzy white woman with lots of perfume. Niggas out here broke. <laughs> <laughs> she, she does look very like startled. <laughs> and it kind of like <laughs> shuts like, her up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interacting with you anymore. You're not going to Okay, so about two more hours pass. Um, in whatever state of conversation or lack thereof there is um, and you guys finally pull into the town of Hayward the green sign on the edge of town reads about just over 2,000 people and it's illuminated by a couple of spotlights because it is now past evening hour um, and she pulls into the small parking lot of the fairly familiar looking building to you um, called Hearts and Homes for Youth Foster Care um, which this is obviously the same one that has been putting you in various homes in Oregon. Um, uh. She turns the car off, grabs her purse, her phone, all that stuff, and then gets out and has you guys try or tries to have you guys follow her into the building. I of course do. <coughs> Got nothing hurts you. <laughs> Trying to decide if my character would be like, all right, thanks, so I got it from here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or if he's just like, huh. He's like, are you planning on giving me a ride the rest of the way, or? Um, well, I was, I was thinking maybe um, I'll just put it on the company card, and you can stay in the same hotel as um, this one. <laughs> that don't look like a hotel. <laughs> but he's like, well, oh, we, we're not there yet. Fair. You know, okay. <laughs> I can use a place to stay. It's fine. Cool. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, and um, you would know that this is kind of routine. Like, she usually has to go in and do paperwork and things like that before getting you guys set up, so. I guess homeless. He looks for ashtrays. Ashtrays. Uh, he pulls out already smoked cigarettes and starts smoking them. Okay. Um, there is one outside of the building in, like, the designated smoking area, so. Cool. He kind of, like, looks around to see where he's... <laughs> I've seen so many bones. People go to the to see how high it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, you found, like, a half of one of the... <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> I mean, yeah, you do find a couple that's been used. It's not a lot, but there are a few. But you get enough of them together, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Um, Let's go. So he's outside smoking a, a cigarette that's nasty as fuck. <laughs> okay. Um, so she, like I said, she gets her things and then heads inside, leaving you to smoke. And she just says, um, when you're done, come in, let the secretary know, and she'll bring you back. Um, I just have to do some paperwork. Sounds good. He kind of like uses the kind of one to be like the next one. Like keeps it going and gets inside. Okay. She good. she does look very like, yeah, that? like really confused perhaps, because um, obviously she's never really seen anything like this before. I've seen that a few times in my life. Like, right. um, so yeah, she heads inside with. Um, I will get this, Carlos. And um, it just flashes like her uh, badge at the secretary um, who says, you know, hello, blah, 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 that kind of thing. And then um, gestures her off towards one of the rooms that are off the main waiting area. Miss um, Dell, she like puts her hand on your shoulder and starts pushing you forward a little bit. She's like, we'll get you set up in one of these rooms for now while I do the paperwork and finalize things for tomorrow, get some reservations set up, that kind of thing. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, so she leads you down a short hallway and opens up one of the rooms. Uh, it looks like an ordinary meeting room with a long table, a few chairs, whiteboard with some markers, and then like there are posters plastered on the wall full of like smiling families and resources for various organizations. Um, and then she's like, I'll be right back, and she leaves the room. So you can get set up however you want while you wait. I just Looks about the same kind of room that you've <laughs> seen dozens of times. I'm just at the bubble. Sorry, you are <laughs> Okay, yeah, there is one. Um, it's one of those fancy ones that have like the filter that you can like. Yeah. Hold yeah. the bottle you underneath. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> this shit is fancy. Look at this. You never had so weird. Um, and the secretary kind of like watches you like a hawk. Yeah, and I just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I do one of those, and he's, what does he say? Uh, no, don't worry about it. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, that's how I'm on, dude. You work it. <laughs> yeah. um, and obviously, you do see Miss Dahl kind of pass back through, kind of chat with her, and she kind of gestures in your direction briefly, um, letting the secretary know that you're there for a purpose and not just a random homeless person that Enjoying wandered in. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then she disappears down a, a different small hallway. So. I Well, like, are you right next to me? Or I'm going to lay a seat in between us. Okay. It's kind of like the pissing situation. You guys just sit there in silence? Yeah. What's up, man? What you do? You didn't say anything? Like, what you here for? What do you think? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. All she told me was her name. It seems like this place is... Are you are you uh, on the run from your, from your family or some shit, dude? <laughs> she, seems, uh, she seems pretty... Uh, I don't know. Strict? You all right? Well, what do you think? I'm morphing. Oh shit, well, is she like trying to bunker you down and shit? Like make sure that you go to where you're supposed to be? Maybe. Yeah, you seem like a quiet guy. Don't tell her this one. Oh, so technically I like to work and stuff. All right, and I just like <laughs> look away again and just like, <laughs> 
Okay. Um, so about this time, she returns, and she's holding two bottles of Thaw Beverages water and two prepackaged sandwiches, which she just sets down for you guys. And um, here, eat up, have a drink. This will tide you over until we can get real food. Um, I just have to call over to the hotel and get things set up. So. Yeah, yeah, just hurry up. I is pointing with the plastic over there, the ceramic, whatever it's in, open with his teeth and just. Okay, <laughs> okay. I look over at you a little bit and like. Eat in silence. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Alright. Um. About ten minutes later, you start to get tired. Both of you. That bitch. That dirty bitch. I'm like, man, I don't like. I just had a million some water. I got some sleep less. I don't understand. I need you both to roll me straight stamina rolls. Fucking money. Because we already <laughs> talked about at this point. <laughs> the sentences aren't going to go here. So, however many dots you have in stamina, roll that many d10. Roll that many d10? Yes. Stamina, stamina, you got stamina, stamina. <laughs> well, this isn't looking very good. <laughs> okay, so I need to know if you have any eights or above. No. No? Okay. Those like double passes or whatever? No. That's just the DC. Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay, so I have one eight and one ten. One eight, one ten. Okay, do you have any ones? No. Okay. So you kind of like shake it off, and you're not really sure what's going on, um, but you watch him as his head <laughs> just sort of slumps over, and he's out cold. I I got two threes and a six, so I'm just like. <laughs> my sandwich is up here. Is <laughs> like you, you, you've been walking for a couple of days, kind of nonstop, sleeping in some pretty shitty places. So, kind of hits you hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While you're out cold, everything feels hot, like searing on your skin. Fiery colors flash across your vision, twisting and turning, shimmering in shades of oranges, reds, and yellows. Even a quick flash of green. <laughs> you want to act this part out too? Because I got this. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, a couple minutes later, you hear a knock on the door. And then Mistel opens it. And then there's this weird flash of surprise on her face when she takes in the fact that one of you is sleeping and one of you isn't. I know what you did to me, bitch. <laughs> I mean, you're still kind of like woozy, but it's, it hasn't put you out yet. <laughs> you eat some of this, too. Sauce in your face. Uh, I got what the fuck top that sandwich would make sense. <laughs> I'd say you ripped the saran wrap open with his teeth and everything. <laughs> fuck it, who's going? So I felt tired and then I showed it all. Right? Yeah, I mean, like like I said, you're still a little bit woozy, um, and you're still tired, you're just not unconscious like your new buddy is. Well, at least I think we're buddies. <laughs> at least. <laughs> I don't think he knows that. <laughs> uh, how did she know? Wait, was there a shock on her face? Yes. Like, she looks surprised to see either one of you sleeping or either one of you awake. You're not really sure which. surprised when you open up the door. 
Well, I guess I was just surprised that um, he fell asleep. She kind of like bustles over and just like kind of gently nudges you and whoa, <laughs> she like tries to catch you. <laughs> She's trying to like hold a dead person's body and she's like holding up my arm as I'm on the floor. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's like a guest, just let him go. <laughs> Keep what I mean. <laughs> like my head is on his lap now, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God. Um, so after she has, uh, him all settled back up properly, she's, she's like, I guess he was more tired than he seemed to be. How are you feeling? A little tired. Okay, and then she kind of, she like, you know, she gets close, she's, you know, she's just talking to you, and, um, she kind of starts cleaning up the mess, and then touches your shoulder, um. I need you to roll me perception and alertness. Yeah, what did she put on your shoulder? Uh... This bitch is putting you on. I Whoever has the most success. <coughs> it's however many dots, right? Yes. Holy sweet Jesus, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so six or above? Uh, hey, 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 four. Any ones? Yeah. No. Okay. Oh, I just need to Yeah. Sure. Yeah, four to, four to six. Okay. So as she goes to uh, reach for your shoulder, you realize she's holding like a syringe in her hand as she tries to plunge it into you. And depress it. Are you wrecked? Uh, I grab her hand. Okay. Uh, I think that would be melee. So, uh, strength in melee. And it'll be contested. Hold on. You see six again? It'll just be whoever has the most successes. Oh, okay, that one was not too hot. Okay. <laughs> Six and above, how many? One. Oh, one and one, one. So that's... Yeah. Gotcha. Alright, uh, so you go to grab her hand and you manage to catch her on the wrist, but you realize she's a lot stronger than she makes herself out to be. Um, and the needle goes right in and she depresses it real quick. You bitch! <laughs> How quick does it act? Because I'm going to slug her in the face. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you would have enough time to slug her in the face. So that would be another strength and melee, I think. Get her, get her, get her. Well, let me double check that super quick. Yeah. Um, Actually... I have a hard time remembering which is brawl. brawl. That's what I'm double checking is whether it's brawl yeah. or melee. Because like melee, like she had a syringe, but if I'm just punching her. Yeah. Because I think Seven melee is weapons. <laughs> I don't remember. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Okay, apparently this doesn't have it. Yeah, my alertness is four. <clears throat> Perception is four. Unarmed. Dexterity and brawl. Dexterity and... Oh! That's even better. I need one more time. Okay. <laughs> uh, the DC is six. I have to go for eyes. Do I always do it? No, I can't be. It's, what is it? DC six. And if you have any ones that subtracts a success. So I have two successes then. Okay. 
I'm starting to understand this a little bit. <laughs> So your damage would be your strength dots plus one die that you would roll. One d ten. Yeah. That is ten. symbols that you put for the type of damage. So like, I can't remember what that is. <laughs> okay. Um, I can technically soak that. So her stamina. Well, we're gonna we're gonna roll initiative. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're out cold. I'm sorry. Oh, she's not. She's gonna hit it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So initiative. For myself. She could catch a charge for hitting a minor though. <laughs> um, Dex plus wits is your initiative. Okay, so you're gonna roll one die and then add your Dex plus wits. Ah, uh, okay. Wits is three and then we're all the same. <laughs> I somehow chose the right knots. <laughs> Combat. 
There it is. So, you are first. What do you do? Well, since I already punched her. Yeah, so she's like reeling back and like holding her face right now. Where's the syringe? <laughs> and I, did she push it all the way down? Yeah, so it did go in. She did get it down. So it's like stuck in your arm part way. And it kind of like, it stings. It's like flopping. She's like, I'm going to try and take it out and show it in her eye. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm a crazy fucking Mexican. Hey, Bata! You fuck with the wrong guy today! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. If you get high enough, it should go right to people. Shit. Fuck up. What? Well, I'm an orphan that always randomly ends trouble. Okay, so that would story, be. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. No. Your. I'm not putting in your jugular. <laughs> Dex and melee. I guess I should talk for this campaign. Hey, Bato. Um. We're going to say DC 8 because you are feeling the effects of the original one and yeah. it's a very small target. Uh, oh, damn. Nothing. Nothing? Okay, um, so you go to like rip it out and then try and stab her in the eye and she just kind of like leans out of the way just enough that you miss. Um, and it's her turn. Did she or anything? <laughs> 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 she at least have a needle sticking out of her face or something? <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker! It's just there just dangling all over the place. Okay, so she's going to attempt to grapple you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There I'm good. <laughs> you ever seen Albina as a butthead? That's what that reminds me. <laughs> um, what is it you see here? Grapple. Do you see six? So you're kind of like in her space because you just tried to do this. So what she does is she bear hugs you. And you're quite a bit taller than her, but she actually gets you off your feet. And she starts to crush. Um, Slam him on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be effective though. Someone that's all like fucked up on drugs, if you gotta get them off their feet, just try and slam them over, they'd probably go. Uh, yeah. Hope they smack their head and just knock them so Let me double check how much you can do. This is a little bit different than D&D. Uh -huh. Turn material. Die from her pool. Okay. So, I take it the staff in this place aren't doing anything about it. She has them paid off. They're in on this shit. Uh, so yeah, she's going to attempt to slam you down to the ground. She's going to drop one of her dice. From she the knows pool. some mixed martial arts. <laughs> Let me see if there's something equivalent. Body tackle. Oh. 
I guess his sweep would be close. Right? Yeah. Close ish. Alright. So let's deck some brawl then. DC 8. Yes. She drops one, but she's taking multiple action. One success, no, two successes, okay. So yeah, you, your world tilts all of a sudden, and you hit the ground hard. Um, and you take... Sorry. 22 points One. <laughs> One bashing damage. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a slash through bruised. Battle stars, not battle stars. Okay. Um, and then I need you to make a straight stamina roll. A straight stamina roll again? What? Right. Yes. Um, same DC as before. Which is eight? Yes. <clears throat> Uh, two passes. Okay. She's like, why would you just go the fuck down here? Basically. <laughs> she just swung her. Whoa. What awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna beat her. Oh, yeah, I suppose you're fire. <laughs> even, with this, even with this drug in you, you're like, hey, bitch. <laughs> Basically. Okay. I've been fucked up before. <laughs> been in fights before, apparently, yeah. Orphan, really. <laughs> I gotta throw him this way. It's the same situation. He's not gonna go further, like, stand away. That's why he's got food. Not a skin food. Well, he has one of those two, but not a leaf. Okay. Um. You can make. I'll let you make one move with this turn. <sighs> or, or like super, like super clever. What do they call that? Super. Sur suplexer. That's it. Suplexer. <laughs> you, you are flat on your back on the ground right now, and she's like standing above you. Kick her in the groin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kick attacks very good style from a swift boot to the groin to elaborate aerial spins. Alright. Dexterity and brawl. <laughs> DC 7. 7? Mm -hmm. She's lucky that I'm not soft. Both of us on her ass, we would. Beat her ass. I know. Uh, one pass. One? Okay. Um, uh, the damage is your strength. So how many dots do you have in strength? Uh, three. Three. Dang. Okay. She is taking 13 damage from this. How's she looking? Um... She's pissed. clearly in pain. And she's just upset. She's not pissed. She's just disappointed. <laughs> but Carlos, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Listen, Carlos. Carlos, you're not listening to me, Carlos. <clears throat> the Carlos thing with me? You do yeah. He's like, that's why I never Carlos. Just so damn good. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. For a moment, she looks like she's in a lot of pain, and then she, her shoulder kind of twitches, and then she looks fine. Uh, yeah, she's going to punch you directly in the face. Um, and as you're watching, you see bits of her bone 
pop out of her knuckles. Oh, damn. What the fuck is this bitch here? That's why she's surprisingly strong. <laughs> Let me tell you something. What the hell is she now? She's trying to bake us in. Oh, I know what's going on here. I see what's going on. <laughs> y'all, y'all said stuff about werewolves. She didn't say nothing about Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Two, three, four, five, six. Um. Just in case you both didn't fall asleep. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> you were going down. <laughs> Fair. Uh, so three, and she's gonna. I'm gonna. pop. She's probably just like, what the fuck is up with this? Girl's probably like, sitting there when we took the sandwiches and started like, yes, eat the sandwich. Like, if you, you eat the food that you guys right. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so five aggravated damage, so aggravated, <laughs> well, <laughs> is, one, so five, oh, hey, fine, <laughs> Mark with stars. What? With, uh, yeah, asterisk. Sorry. Okay. I can only sit bash. Is there a health total in this game for us? Yeah. So, if you look at your little health thing, once you get up to incapacitated, you're out. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> so, where are you at? So, what exactly am I? Okay. So, you took. Aggravated damage, so you're gonna mark your boxes in descending order with asterisks. So one per How for did each. You take, did you take? Five aggravated. Uh, yeah, five aggravated. And no soak. You well, he's not changed okay. yet. So yeah, well, humans can only soak bashing right now. Uh, the one flashing, did he soak that already or not? Or the one bludgeoning he took already? Yeah, from you. Like, oh, uh, shoot. Go. Uh, roll your stamina. Sorry. Yeah, roll stamina, roll. Three dice. Still getting used to the system myself. Uh, oh, you did not so good. Yeah. Okay, so what happens with that is it moves down. Since it's the uh, weakest type of damage, so it would be. So one, five damage and two, three, four. And six points of damage. Alright, uh, where, where are you at? Crippled. Yeah. Crippled? Okay. Um, so hurt. anything you do, you have a uh, negative five from your dice pool? To a minimum of one or what? What do you mean? Or can you just have zero? You would just have zero and you would not be able to complete the action. Damn. <clears throat> yeah, it's rough. I feel like shit. I'm just gonna lay there. <laughs> you gonna lay there? Okay. <laughs> Do nothing. Just sit down. Um. Okay. So, as you lay there, you see the the barbs like retract, and then she's gonna punch you one more time. The creature stopped their job. Just to make sure. <laughs> she's a bitch. <laughs> Food syringe doesn't stop. Let's see what you have to do with Okay, so one success is the hmm. And punches are strength. Okay, so uh yeah, she has four points in strength. So you are 
out cold. At least I gave her some medicine. <laughs> yeah, like her nose is a little bloody and um, her lip is split. And her crotch is hurting a little bit. <laughs> she doesn't look like too bad after soaking. So, yeah, she doesn't really look that bad. Just as the blow hits your face for this final time, um, across your vision is an explosion of fire, fire, wow, words, with hints of green. Hmm. Hey man, I got more colors than you, than you bro. What's up? So, when you next awaken, you find yourself strapped down into a chair, both wrists and feet. Means what? Or just, just, just both of you. Hey, I, I'm like, what the fuck is this, man? <laughs> what the fuck happened to you? Where are we? <laughs> yeah, you're currently fairly bloody. Um, you have not been healed very much. Um, <clears throat> Did you get hit by a semi? Sorry, I was talking. Okay, go ahead, talk. Uh, did you get hit by a semi, bro? What the fuck happened? Uh, after time, yeah. So, weren't we just eating? What? Seriously, what's going on? You, dude, what the fuck? I need this place now. I'm freaking out. I'm gonna have a crisis here. You, you knocked the fuck out. I fought her. Wait, who? The lady with the perfume? What's her name again? Uh, Miss Stell. Miss Stell. She know that? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what is she? You had, you told me. She must be the next Ronda Rousey. <laughs> We're in the real world, so I can make these references. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and you like, all right, so what do we... What are we doing here? And then I'm just like, 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 Currently, the screen depicts a large, juicy-looking cheeseburger piled high with all the fixings. A nice yellow sesame seed bun, crisp lettuce, and tomatoes, all the good stuff. Pans out to a pretty blonde woman dressed in short shorts and a crop top who takes a massive bite of the burger and has, like, the ketchup and mustard dripping down her face. Her other hand comes into the screen as if she's going to wipe her face, but instead she's holding another cheeseburger. Across the screen flashes two for four. Then the screen goes dark, and the Otoli's logo appears with the address in the closest location, um, which is Nan McKagan, and the words, order through the app, while well, the voiceover speaks. Otoli's two-for-four deal will leave you satisfied, available for a limited time only. Otoli's, the family place. Did you make all this up? Yes. Okay, continue. <laughs> the logo lingers for a moment in the shape of a blocky black O with Otoli's like, written across the middle. And after that, the next commercial plays. Two for five, two for four. <laughs> I was picturing like that's them. <laughs> Continue. I'm sorry. That was great. I'm I'm just kind of like I'm like that does look good. Or I totally they got it made. I'm just like, what the fuck is this shit? And that's a um, common fast food place. I, I suppose I don't know who that is. Okay. Yeah. Is this set up? <laughs> like, yeah, for once I make it to that place to take that pill, I'll get some fat tollies. Where am I? <coughs> there we go. He's, he's just kind of like showing at that point. <laughs> he, he, he yells at him and he just took the disgruntled. More commercials play? He, he starts to like look away and like, man, what the fuck did you do that I kind of blame you for this? <laughs> it's not my fault, she stuck a syringe in me. Wait, what? 
That bitch is crazy. <laughs> you know how many intravenous <laughs> diseases you can get from shit like that? She can catch a charge. What is going on? He's, he's kind of freaking out at this point, just going grambling. This seems like some horror, horror movie shit. Okay. So what do you do? You I, strap down in chairs and nobody's coming. Nobody's coming? Um. Just more commercials playing. How, what, how are we strapped down? Um, you have ropes around your wrists and ankles. So, like, the chairs have, like, arms, so they're, like, locked in, and then your feet are strapped to, like, the legs of the chairs. What kind of chairs are they? Um, just normal wooden chairs. So I'm Pretty gonna... uncomfortable. So, how are the ties tied? Like, normal tie? I don't know. Um, is, it, is it just your hands? Your hands and feet. Okay. Wrists and ankles. So, I'm going to start, like... <clears throat> Scooting my hands around the sides of it to try and like and like pulling as I'm scooting to try and loosen up the knots just enough like to get some like give. tighten the knot if you will but get give, give on extra roll. Okay. I'm trying to do that so so far I can just kind of slowly slide my hands back out. Okay. Like a little bit something like that to let me know, but also if I'm like pressing up my fingers and trying to like loosen up. Um, strength and athletics. Strength and <coughs> athletics. We're going to say DC 7. Strength and athletics. What? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I saw four dots of my alertness and I thought it was athletics. So I was like, eh, eh, and then there's zero, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got two dice. And it's DC what? 7. Oh. I got two twos. Too. Okay, um, so yeah, you're you're trying to do this and it's not going as well as you would have hoped. Uh, are these floors chairs anchored to the floor? No. Um, he's gonna try and use his feet to like. He's gonna rest his arms up like this again. Okay. On top of it, and he's gonna like. Well, this isn't gonna work at all. I'm gonna just end up sticking myself on the floor and not being able to get back up. Um. Well, no, yeah, he's gonna tip his chair over. Okay. And then he's now that his now that my feet, I'm assuming, were bound to the back post. He's gonna go like that. So that way the ropes just come off the ends of the chair chair legs. Yeah. Okay. So now he can do that. He's gonna like try and get back up and hold the chair like this. Okay. Right? Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're somewhere. Okay, we're somewhere. Now he moves over to this guy. Carlos. With the chair still attached to him, and he bends over. And he kind of just like, he tries to get his teeth in between the knot, like where the knot, the two ropes touch, okay. and just try and loosen it up. And he's gonna keep on going back. <laughs> okay. So, uh, would you like a roll for that or? Yeah. Um... Dexterity and brawl. Dexterity and brawl. Yeah, that's right. unarmed, so, so I guess that would be the brawl. best option. Where's brawl? <clears throat> uh, first column, talents. You have two. Two? All right, cool. So I have three, right. five total dice. Check it. Um, DC seven again. It's not an easy task. Yeah, I got a nine, and that was nine. You have two passes, one fails, so one pass. Yep, one pass. Okay. Um, so it... It's not easy. It takes you much longer than you would have hoped for, especially just because like you're panicking. You're and not sure what's going on. on. So yeah, um, you're not sure if anybody's gonna show, show up. up. Right. Um, but you do eventually get it. Okay, so I loosen up your knot, and then I like pull it back with my teeth, right? So then, that, so you can loosen up that hand. I'm like, all right, all right, get your other hand so you get the stupid chair off me, and I sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I would assume so you have a whole hand. Yeah. Much easier to do than with your uh, teeth. I would just roll decks okay, just fair. to see if you can do it with one hand. That's fair. Well, um, my health. Oh. Um. You don't have any bashing, but you do have aggravated. Oh, 
Whoa, what did this I just do? It's the last fight. I can't do anything. <laughs> I forgot about that. I apologize. <laughs> I mean, if you had just gone down when you were supposed to. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> uh, that, that, that's not Carlos. Uh, Carlos is a fighter. <laughs> Apparently, for fuck's sake. I mean, if so, to be honest, even in real life, if some if some lady just tried to put a syringe in my arm, I'd probably fight her as well. Not even joking. Go, go, go for the punchy punch. Yeah, I would I as, as like, much and as hard as I could. But I don't know you. <laughs> Oh, it's not the one I wanted. I've heard somebody doing that shit. It's not straight or hell. If you should have been somebody going, I'd fight you. Straight, straight up, yeah. If Arrow's gonna be like, no, we're gonna fight. <laughs> babe, babe, it's a prank, it's a prank, it's a prank. Yeah, it sounds disgusting to your face. It's also a prank. Every dude that goes to the, the hood and does some stupid prank video and almost gets killed. It's a prank, it's a prank, it's a prank, prank, bro, 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 stop! Stop, bro, stop, bro, it's a prank! Yeah, Throws a grenade back. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting there. Boom! Okay, so you can regenerate roughly a health level a day currently. So we'll say you've had enough time to do one health level. So you would be ma mauled right now? Yeah. Okay. So that's. Well, that's a lot better. Okay, at least not through that. Yeah. Burn the next thing. Again, it takes much more time than you would have hoped it would, but you do manage to get it. Yeah, I got two, two hands on tie both of your feet. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I'm going to tie my feet up. Okay. Yeah. This time it's... So, I'm like, hey, man, hey, hey, hey. <coughs> all these arms over here. I need some help with these. I don't know if I could have done it to myself in the first place. <laughs> yeah, you <could've. laughs> No, maybe not. Why are like down hey, here? Hey. Yeah, okay. I'll untie one of his hands. Okay. And I'll just like you can get the other one. <laughs> okay. So you have one hand untied. Alright. So it's, it's Dex? Yes. It's just Dex? Yeah. That is a nine and no no fails. Okay. So then yeah, you can manage it. And then just like you are you know, if I was more of a violent person, I'd be joking your crippled state. But I'm not going to. That that he looks at the oh. screen that was over there. What kind of screen is it? Is it like a projection screen? Is it like a tapestry that's hanging down from it? Yeah, so it is a projector in the back of the room that's kind of like elevated so that it like hits the big screen. Okay, so I can potentially tear the screen down, yes? The the screen that's playing the commercials? The, the screen that it's getting projected on, like the actual screen part surface where the, the light is hitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, I, so I could? Yeah, it's like one of those pull down. Cool. And videos. does it still have? I was. I'm gonna try and pull it down from the top, so I don't like rip it. I want like the whole thing. Okay. Um. You can stack the chairs up and be able to reach the reach top. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna do that exactly that. Okay. I'm gonna grab it. Okay. And I'm gonna roll it up. Okay. I'm gonna bring it. Up. All right. Commercials are now playing on the wall. <coughs> cool. Um, and you can see on the wall now are familiar looking posters. What kind of posters? Posters of smiling families and resources. I go to a projector and I just toss, throw it on the ground. Okay. Um, <laughs> light kind of like flashes over the wall and then it, the projector itself hits the wall um, and breaks in some crackling plastic and a popping hiss. Fair. <laughs> that, that does tend to happen sometimes, yeah. Oh, so I go over to the, is the, I'm assuming there's a door in and out yes. of this room. Yes, so this is, um, now that you guys are kind of up and able to look around a little better, you see that it is... A fairly familiar looking meeting room. It's not the same one that you guys are in, but close enough. He, he's going over in his head. He's like, "This is why they always told me to fucking get you. Fucking, this is what you get. You get locked up in a fucking room. And I'm in a, a hostile three. All right. So <laughs> he's gonna go to the door and just 
locked. As I assumed. Um, Which way does it open? From the outside. It's like locked. That way. So it'll open outwards though? Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> is there any glass? It's got like one of those little like like classroom kind of things. With the you know glass what? with the wire inside of it? Yeah, where it's oh. like a little like long rectangle. I'm going to try and kick the handle. Okay. Um, I mean, well, I'm going to break one of the chairs apart. Well, yeah, I'm going to kick it like a, like a Spartan kick. Okay, so it's pretty easy to break the chair because it's just a chair. You're getting a leg to hit people with. That's what I was taking the projector. Once I see, once I saw him do that, I was like, wait a second. He throws the projector aside. He goes get, gets a leg. He also uses like a spear, like a battery round. <laughs> if anybody came up on us. But yeah, I'm gonna get, a, I'm gonna get a fucking leg too. I'm like, good, you've done this shit before. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So for your Spartan kick, you're gonna roll Dex and Brawl. Brawl is two, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what is this? DC 7. Got a 10 and 8 and no fails. Okay, so 2. Um, trying to imagine how this works. What's the frame made of? I mean, it's just a wooden door. Um, and you're aiming for the handle? Yeah, like I'm kicking like, it like around the handle or like the actual like handle handle. Well, is it like a is it like um? <clears throat> it's like a round door knob. A round door knob. I'm aiming for the, the actual handle. I'm trying to kick it out. Okay. Yeah, I see if you fire and do that type of shit. Yeah, so um, you're a little surprised because I mean obviously it's not really something you've done yeah. too often. Um, and you've really only seen it like on TV when like other people are kicking like, doors in. Yeah. But somehow you manage to just smash it and pops, pops right out in a spray of splinters. Cool. Oh, that's <laughs> dope. And I just remember, <laughs> after you, Bloody Face. Just show off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bloody Face, but see ya. All right. I can tell we're going to be real good friends in this campaign. <laughs> All right, so uh, I look out in the hallway. What do we see? What are the options? Okay, um, it's just a regular hallway. It has the fluorescent lights above. Um, there's just more posters and things like that that you would expect to see in a place like this. Okay. Um, uh, is there any way that I can maybe hear someone still there or not? Um, roll me perception and alertness. DC at six. Oh, shit. Can I do that as well? Sure. And that's two, about four tanks. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. six. Well, two sixes and one one. So one success. Yeah. I'm sorry, that gets so lucky. Jesus. So we've got one, two, three. Oh, yeah. What is it, DC? What? Six. six. Oh. Three, four. I have five successes and one fail. Okay, so four successes. I okay. have eight per- in perception, or four in perception, and I have four in alert. Yeah. Let's go. Andy! Okay. Um, <clears throat> so you, you do hear something, <clears throat> what sounds like voices, but you're not really sure what they're saying. You, however, can tell that they are both feminine voices. Um, however, there's something almost gritty and masculine in each of them um and they are just discussing about what they're going to do for dinner i I, like i get that scares me (laughs) let me be honest right now which direction is that coming from down the hallway which is the only way to go it's the only way to go yes so this is a hallway that leads into like the dead end edge of the building then there are like the meeting room that you're in, the meeting room you were in, and then the rest of the hallway. Is there any back doors? You don't know. Yeah, we're. We you have not room. been in this building before. So you said that there's the hallway and then the two other meeting rooms? The one you're in and then the one you were in previously. And it's just the hallway with no other doors. Damn. The water fountain's down the way. What? The water fountain's down the way. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, but I can't hear that yet. <laughs> but, um... I don't know. Hey, I'm so nervous. I'm discussing what they're going to have for lunch. I suggest that we potentially go closer to them, but wait to see what they do. Or if they leave, we can get the fuck out of here. But if they find us, we might just have to fuck them up. I can tell them. 
I want to check the door or to the, the reading room. It's locked. I can do that again. Yeah, I'm like, alright. Well, speaking of, let's go with you your did kick a door in. Yeah, also that might have alerted them to something happening. Okay, so we're going to start with her first. <laughs> oh shit, she does. <laughs> She's like, that is a 10. So exactly how does my flute work? You don't know yet. Oh yeah, because it's not something that I have abilities to use yet, because I'm not actually trying to To you, it's just a regular flute at this point. Something passed down from your family. Yeah, um... I, just, oh, I guess we're... Sit, I, would, I guess I would be pre- I, Knowing that the me kicking the door was loud, I would just assume that they might have heard it regardless and I hear them talking. So I'm just gonna be very cautious about this. I'm gonna just kinda like get closer to them and just try and survey what they're doing so I know when, my, when I can make my move. Thank you. Okay. Whatever that move is, I'll move out there and make it once I have better information. So I'm getting a little bit closer. Going back to the room is not an option. That's where we started, we ain't going back there. certain, but we're going to do Dex and Stealth for now. <clears throat> Dex and Stealth? That's my best guess. Alright. Okay, so let's see your portal all these dice. Um, your DC is going to DC is going to be No, no oh yeah, that's nine. I thought that was a six. Stay here. One success, no fails. Okay. So you guys get down the hall very quietly, um, stepping around the broken handle and the wood. Um, did you take, you both took legs, right? Mm -hmm. Chair legs? Okay. What? Oh, Chair legs legs? in the chair, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I ain't going on this hallway without some kind of weapon things looking at this dude get that beat up. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's taller than me, so I'm like, nah, if he's gonna get I can hit, a, I can hit a somebody with a chair like twice. Mm -hmm. um, or, yes, or but more. you would lose a dice from your dice pool each oh, time uh, you roll. Yeah, so like, so like, if you hit three times, you would lose one the second time, and the third time you would lose two, because it stacks. Got it. So, so you, you want to use that in good situations. Like yeah. Really, they're gonna get fucked up, just use all three dice. Yeah. Um, really once you that. guys... Like, yeah. Um, once you guys have access to your rage, then you can spend a rage point to do multiple actions without losing dice. But for now, you would lose the dice because you don't have access yet. So I'll just baby hamlets trying to make your way through this, so. I'm doing okay so far. I got us out of the chairs and got us off the roof. Yep. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I'll see what happens. <coughs> All right, um, so do you guys go to the end of the hallway itself completely, or like a few steps back? A few steps like, back. I want to even be like, oh, I want to be a little bit back from the corner so okay. I can kind of like not have him see me. Okay. The less sense they have behind him, like, if he gets it first. Okay. Say <laughs> <So> it's <laughs> right at that point. This ain't happening again. <laughs> okay. All right, um, yeah, so they're just discussing dinner, their evening plans, um, just what you would expect for a normal office talk. Okay. And you said they started 
masculine-ish. Yeah, so you can tell that their voices are still feminine, but there's almost like a second voice underneath that's like gritty and guttural almost. Yeah, that's the word I would use for it. Mm-hmm. Was it? Um, Sexy. Yeah. Definitely something I want to dip my stick into. Okay, anyways, sorry about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see here, what can I use? Okay, well, I'm just going to chill and wait to see what they do. Yeah. Okay. I really, really wanted to whistle for them and come over and just, like, man, like, spin really far down and then wait for me to get right up to the corner and smack them with the shit and then just <laughs> start going to fucking town. <laughs> get her! No. I'm still behind them, man. Okay. Yeah, I'm chill, though. I'm chill. Um, about 20 minutes in, you hear one of them say, Probably been long enough. We could go check on them. All right. Okay. Okay. Um. So you hear their heels begin to click across the floor, and then um, Miss Stell walks around the corner. Okay, so I was... Is it like a withholding an action type thing? He's we'll waiting. say... Well, yeah, we'll say that it He's, he's just like waiting for that shit, just to see that shit. <laughs> so he is just... He's going. He's okay. So... Okay, so that is... Would be dex and melee. Because that is a weapon. <clears throat> Alright, I don't like this at all. I think I'm about to get fucked up, but let's see what happens. Um, let me see what... Would be weapon strike. We'll say this is a staff, so the DC would be six. <coughs> Two hits, no, no fails. Okay. Um, so. Uh, roll me one dice and tell me what's above six. Or if it's above six, not what's above six. Eight. eight. Okay, so then what's your strength? Two. Two, so it'll be three fashion damage. Into her damn shin. Does she kind of fall in, re- in reaction to that? Or like not fall, but like at least like bend over? Um, okay. um, yeah, so and you did it into her shin, you said? Yes. Okay. And I'm like, no! Yeah. So uh, it cracks right into the bone, and you kind of feel it reverberate up your arms. I'm like, solid! <laughs> um, <laughs> and you see her leg sort of twist inward, like just against the pain initially, and um, she leans down to clutch at her leg. And what do you do? Get her in the head! Uh, hit her in the head. Okay. Yeah. Um, same thing, DC6. Six and melee. DC six. Uh, two passes. Okay. Same as what I got. Yeah. So roll me one die. Tell me if it's above six. Six and above, I should say. Sorry. That's a five. It's a five. Okay. So then, what's your strength score? Three. So she'll take three bashing. Let's see what she soaks. Okay. Okay. And with how fucked up she hit me before, I want to hit her again. Okay, so roll again, minus one. Just too late, yeah. Fuck fuck the dice. Just hit her as hard as you can. We're just taking this bitch down. Uh, an eight and a ten. Okay. Two successes, no fails. So roll one die. Tell me if it's six or above. Four. Four? Okay, so then another three. And I'm gonna hit her again. Minus two die. He is, he's an angry person. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I don't care about what happens to me after this year. <laughs> hey, for what you did. Okay. To my face. Oh, that's negates. Huh, what? Nine. One one and one nine. Oh, yep, nothing. So this one, so what happens is you hit her, you crack her across the back of the head the first time, and she, like, dips and, like, falls. So you hit her again right on the nape of the neck, and you can see her, like, kind of arching against the pain. 
And then as she slumps on the floor, you whiff the, the third attack. Well, she's out right now. Yes. One down, two to one to go. Let's get yes. this bitch. I was like, you're done. <laughs> so there's a shriek. Like that? No, like a feminine shriek. Ah! And then you see the secretary step around the corner. And there's no surprise around because now she knows you're there. Yeah. So I'm going to need initiative. So one die, and then whatever number you get on that, plus your dex and wits. And wits? Yes. (laughs) We both got nines. I got Uh, a... I got a 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. 16. Let's fuck her up. She's going down for this bitch. We get out this fucking... We're, we're gonna end up being wanted for manslaughter when we didn't even have to kill these people. I mean, to be fair, they did just knock us out, put a syringe in his arm. The, the, the evidence is there that they weren't trying to do anything nice to us. Okay. I'm just a random dude. I'm trying to get out. We got okay. ropes and wooden chairs broken up. Yeah, it looks like a fucking. It looks like a pair of war ropes already went through this motherfucker. Uh. <laughs> Up. So she, I'm assuming she's trying to fight us too? Or she looks like she's ready to fight? Yeah, she looks pissed. Okay, cool, yeah, but I'm not holding back on her. Because I was like, I'm like, I don't want to hit this lady. She's like, please don't! And all of a sudden it's too late. Crack her in the shin. Yeah. Okay, um... So when it takes the dice off, is it only for that round? Yeah. Oh! Oh, I may as well just go fucking ham on these guys. Okay! Just keep on going until you don't hit them. Yeah, why not? If it only takes the dice off for that round, why don't you go ahead and try? There's always a chance you can get lucky. Oh, that's a I hope she goes after us. I'm about to go as hard as I can on her. Well, with how high we roll? I think so, but you never know. I, I, I hope. <laughs> so I hope it's just you, then me, and then... She's out? <laughs> yeah. Girl, let's get out of here. At that point, we'd have to be like, let's roll back to we got this. <laughs> we went through trials and tribulations together. Well, with how many times we're running away from, you know, I'm probably like, I hate at least some friends whenever I'm running right, here. Right, have my back. <laughs> well, we'll see if we can get out of here, because these might not be the only people in the building. I want to do it with the months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My guy's been along his whole life, so yeah, he's probably been like, all right, cool. Hey, you're a little scary, buddy, but I'm uh, not. Okay. He knows where I was. So, Carlos, you are first. Smack this bitch. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna, just gonna hit her. Oh, okay, uh, three so, oh. passes, one fail. Yep. Hey, I'm getting it. That's still the same. You got two successes here. Three. Well, two total because oh, yeah, one yeah. fail counts as one fail. Yeah, two successes. That's, that's so cool. Okay. Damn, I'm holding up. <laughs> I'll take the nine for the initiative. I'm all about okay. that. So, what'd you get? Uh, three passes, one fails, and two successes. Okay, so that it would be roll me one die. Tell me what six, six or above. Six. Six. So four. Yeah. Um. Should I proceed? Yeah, I do a second hit. No, 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 two. Okay, 
rid of what I freaking needed. What is it for all of us? Or is it melee? It's melee and strength because we have a weapon. Or as opposed to strength, it's brawl and strength. Brawl and dex, melee. Um, uh, so this one's dex, though, yeah. Yeah, it's dex, dex and melee. Let me, what is H? I'm so much bigger than this part. Because my dex is four and my melee is two and my brawl is three. Okay, I should actually be using my. Okay. My dex is three, but. So as you hit her the first time, you see this oily black leather begin to creep across her skin and it like springs up and coats her in this black. And when you hit her, it you can feel that this like tough hide kind of absorbs a lot of the damage. Oh no. That's what you do. And like the surprise of it kind of shocks you so much that you just you miss the second one. Because yeah. this is not normal in the slightest. This is nightmarish. So? Vampire! Hey, <laughs> wooden legs. Ah, jeez. What can you do? I guess I'm just gonna... It's over entire body, yeah? Yes. Um. Looks like a, like a carapace. Like an exoskeleton type video. Is she kind of <clears throat> recoiling right now? I mean, a little bit, like, obviously it's still hit and kind of hurt, but just not to the extent that you would have hoped. <coughs> I'm going to go in. <laughs> I'm just going to hit her. Okay. Also, I was like, I can grapple her and just make sure he can hit her again, or I don't know. I'm just going to fucking go in and try and smack the fuck okay. out of this bitch. What is it? DC six. Alright, uh, two successes. Okay, so then roll me one die and tell me if it's six or above. It's only two. Two? Okay, so what's your strength rating? I don't know how many. Is your dice different than one? This is, yeah. So I have odds on one in my side. I thought it was on one. There were seven. There's seven right there. What were you saying? What's your strength score? Two. Two, yeah. Okay. I'm like, I remember. Um, and I'm going to attack her a second time after that. Okay. Is this just wrong? Hmm? Wrong. Alright. Lose one die from your pool. <laughs> Two successes. Two successes. Okay. That's eight. Eight. So three. Yeah, I guess I could roll uh, down to. I can keep rolling then. Mm -hmm. He would just lose He's two. Just losing a dice every single time. One success. Okay. It's four. Four. Two. So it'd be I two. Um, we're going to pop one of her things here. I'm going to hit her! Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. <coughs> so, 
So, <clears throat> from behind her, a oil, oily looking black tail slips out. Um, <laughs> and she is going to try to hit Carlos across the head. She's like, go for the weak one, fuck it. Or the, the one that's back ahead really hard to handle the weak right now. You're all fucked up already. Yeah. 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 So you're going to take three, three damage. Let me double check. I think it's only bludgeoning, or not bludgeoning. Yeah, so bashing. So three bashing. So it would be one, two, three. So you're minus five, okay? Um, yeah, and then you know what? She's gonna, she's gonna fucking do it again. this tail just thwack right, him right across the temple and then on the back stroke hit him again and he slumps against the wall. Um, so we'll leave that there for now. Uh, yeah, so. Tomorrow. Yes. My turn? Yes. She looked just more pissed off, or did she look even hurt at all? Um, she looks a little bit more hurt than she had been, but she's looking more pissed. Like, and there's this aura about her. That it's not like a visible aura, but it's an aura of like menace and pure evil. She, she's a demon, basically. That's what, okay, that's what Tomar thinks. He's like, this bitch is a demon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Six on the hit. One, okay. one pass, no fails. Six on the hit, or six for damage. I mean, six for damage on that third hit. Number one dice again. Let's do this. Uh, I'll wait until she's done. Jesus. Die hit hard. That last one was three as well, right? Yes, it was a six on the die. Okay. So is a seven more then? Because I hit her for several ones. No, so what it is, is if you get above six on the extra die that you roll, that's one more added Got to the damage. Six on die for the hit on this okay. last one. Five. Five. Okay. 
I'm I'm doing everything with within my power. Alright. One. Alright. Alright. Okay. So. Alright, I'll fuck the mic. <laughs> <laughs> that is the question. Well yeah, I know you got you gotta take it down real quick. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh my god, take it down real quick. Does she have horns? Or is it just the skin and the tail? Just the skin and the tail. No wings, nothing. I had this whole big picture in my head of this. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay, in my head she still has wings and horns. And once once I kill her, yes, I did say kill her, I'm cutting her horns off and putting them on my forehead so I can put it in this cafe as well. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> he knows nothing of this. Yeah. <laughs> he heard a tail once in a bone That's fine. Oh, here we go. Well, I mean, it's not lethal, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> you heard it, right? What'd you say? It's not lethal, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> that was for me. Do, do you were, do you were, I feel accomplished this campaign regardless of the session. I got myself out the chair basically, got myself out the room, did a lot of damage to this bitch. My plan worked to take down the first bitch as well. I was so, just happy with what I did right at the beginning. Actually, no, punch no, her in the Dab. That I'm like, okay, I'm a little assessment now. Okay. I think that's why she went down so quick when we hit her the second time, is to cheer you had damage on her from the last encounter you guys had. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a good thing I was in there, but also not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So she is going to pull out a dagger. Ah, oh, nuts! <laughs> Wait, what? Uh. Hey, my guitar is like ah. Uh, difficulty. A dagger. I'm real serious. I know I'm trying to kill her, but she's gotta like try to kill me. For fuck. Dex and brawl for two. Swing and deal more damage. She's like, I gotta put this guy down. He is smacking me a little bit too much. Four, right? So eight. Now you're freaking very nice. Yeah, I know. I'm actually. I'm missing the two more nice steps. I'm just about to go hit that hard. If I get two successes. One success? Yeah. Oh, wait, two successes. I mean, oh. it doesn't really matter, but. Yeah. Um, nice. Two strength. So you're going to take two lethal damage. What does that mean? Okay, so do you have any bashing? I don't, I don't have any damage. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to mark. Um, <laughs> I don't have it here. Okay. Let me go through my friggin' notes. <clears throat> so lethal is with an X. So this means you cannot soak it because it is lethal. So it takes how much? Two. So I just put two marks in the two first Two X's, box? yep. Um, and she kind of like right into the meat of your shoulder. Yeah. Um, and so she's gonna do it one more time. My guy feels very slumbering on us. Not good. Well, let's see what happens. He's still got his. <sighs> two successes. Nice. Um, so then another two lethal. Good. Okay. So, Carlos. Uh oh. As you go down. It's a lot of pain, but you can still feel the adrenaline throbbing in your chest. Oh. It's hard to hear much of anything through the pounding of the blood in your ears. Even the tug of your own breath funneling into your lungs kind of pisses you off for some reason, just the way it scrapes and aches. He's turning. The horror and the fear pisses you off. Fire seems to lick into your veins, sizzling all through your limbs with an unbridled violence. Your injuries fall to the wayside as unimportant and trivial. How dare this bitch! Yeah, sorry, sorry, fuck this bitch. Sorry, go ahead. And as this happens, just like glimpses of it through this like 
red smear in your vision, you begin to see fur sprout from your skin. Your fingers lengthen and like big wicked claws tip them. And where you've always been pretty tall, so you you were taller than even uh, Miss Stell, but suddenly like your perception feet. is much higher than it had been. Eat this bitch. Hey man, you remember remember how we helped each other out? Man, you remember, you remember? And that's what my guy would be like, hey, whoa, Carlos, 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 Carlos! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her she's the end, you remember we're trying to get out of here in the big things with our life, Carlos! However, you're not fully in your right mind between the pain, the surprise, and the fact that you are now frenzying. So what I'm going to have you do is you're going to make a claw attack, um, which is dexterity and brawl. Are you going to hit me? She's like, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that health. Oh, um... You can soak, I believe. Okay, do you have any lethal or is it just all bashing? It's just all bashing. Okay. Hey. Okay, we should do a pretty good on that show. Heals the fastest and is very unlikely. Bashing damage. Yeah. She said there's like different symbols. Yeah. So you have to put different things in, in the boxes for different types of damage? You're supposed to, yes. Oh, okay, so... So, for your... Because you have lethal, you mark it with an X. Because... So, you can soak certain kinds of damage in certain forms and stuff right. like that. So, that just denotes what damage you have. Okay. So, you know what you can so take put, off. So, I would put an X in three boxes then, right, currently? Oh, okay. See, because... It's okay, cool. Okay. Oops. She did stab me. Okay, so you can roll your stamina to soak fashion, and it is a DC six. And it's just whatever dice there is. Yeah. Well, wait, wait, wait. You're in Krynos. So what is your stamina in Krynos? Sorry, so you have a plus three to what you're rolling right now. So, so you roll your dice, dice, you'd roll your original stamina dice pool plus another three dice. So six. Because yeah, you are in Kinos. I don't remember that. So anything above six. And you uh, can you four. don't you can't botch this or like it, the ones don't matter. So anything above six. Okay, yeah, so four. you're going to soak and erase six or four of the damage. Yeah, that was a pretty good roll. Yep. So you just take away one box for each then? Yeah. Or one whole box? Mm -hmm. Travis is gonna have to help me with the health. This shit fucks me up so bad. Right. The health. So, so with each box, what is, what is each, you, every point you take just takes out a whole box or how does that work? Yeah. Cause we'll, and then if so if you had get if you get like yeah, bashing I'll damage I'll next, then the lethal drops, right? No. So no matter how many of each damage you have, the um, aggravated damage, the asterisks will be at the top, lethal damage will be in the middle, and bashing damage will be at the bottom. Like if you what does that rep I mean I understand that it represents the type of damage. Um it's how easy they are to uh, recover. Okay. So you can recover bashing damage when you're at like six health or six damage. You recover two of those, you're back up to four. But you can't recover the lethal because it's yeah, easier to hard, easy, harder to recover. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So all damages. Okay. Well, can you here? Come here, real quick. Yeah. So show me in a box how you would mark that down specifically. So. Like so show. Give me an example for each single one. So. And on the thing too, right? Yeah. Right. DC six. Uh, yeah, two passes. So okay. 
One pass. No, my bad. I had a fail. Okay. Yeah, still. Um, so that is... Roll me one extra die and tell me if it's about six. No. Okay. So strength, current, your current strength with the Kranos. Yeah, it's three for the regular. Three. With the Kranos? Without. With the with it would be seven. Okay. That's, I thought you said without. That's your damage. <laughs> I thought you said without before. That's why. <laughs> the damage output with that is seven. I was like, I thought I would add that on, but okay. I'll yeah. Just... Um. She's gonna pop. Oh, her stamina. She's like, oh shit. I thought I was just beating up on children. I was so cool. You just stab this child with a knife and then you get attacked by a werewolf, bitch. because you changed last year, what's your thing? Okay. Um, yeah, so these claws are running from your fingers, um, ripping through thin skin and sharpening into dangerous flint-like blades um, that kind of, that gouge across her armor like a hot knife through warm butter. And you can see, like, a bit of blood sprays out even through this like leathery tough hide, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> saturating your patchy chest and muzzle. Um, <coughs> this chain has caused pain, and it's a pain that cuts you down to the bone, but it's also a pain that seems right, like it should be happening. Um, a pain that has always just been on the fringe of your awareness, and it's like, finally. Nice. And then you. So, behind you, you can hear the sounds of bones snapping and muscles tearing this, yeah, and you do hear this awful hair-raising snarl, um, and just above your head, you see claws on a furry arm slash across the secretary, who, like, stumbles back holding her chest, um, <clears throat> and you're in a lot of pain also. From, from the axe? From the dagger. Right, that, <laughs> yep. Just twice, right into the meat of your shoulder. Um, I think any sane person at this point would at least attempt to run between a demon and a werewolf. Because that seems like <laughs> right in the middle of them, right? <laughs> okay. So this thought crosses your mind. But then there's anger. Anger at the fact that you thought you should run. Anger at the fact that you were just trying to get some money. Yeah. Just to survive. This bitch got me tied up in a chair! Yeah. And then you've been drugged. Yeah. Tied up to a chair. Forced to watch these commercials. You don't really understand. And this anger that has always just been kind of there and you haven't really been fully aware of it loosens. But not loosening in a way that brings a sense of calm, but a loosening that dislodges it from its tightly bound control. Heat races through your blood, and your heart pounds against your ribs painfully. But the rest of the pain, like the pain of your shoulder, it grows distant, nestled in the back of your mind to be dealt with later. Red sparks in the corners of your vision. And then you too begin to see first sprout along your arms and muscles bulk and tear themselves apart, and it hurts. And you're still so smaller than me. <laughs> this transition is not a pleasant one by any means. But he's just staring at her. Just yeah. <clears throat> she must be scared of shit. And your awareness dims to the back of your mind, and you realize you're not fully in control either. You can also make me a claw attack. What is it? Dex and Brawl. DC 6. Plus 1. Plus 1? So then, yeah, you would add your Dex to it. So 3 plus 6. 6 Dex. 
Two in Brawl, three in Dex, and a plus one. Oh, okay. Minus one more. Oh, yeah, well, it's a good thing this one just fell yeah. off the table. <laughs> um. I have no successes. No, wait, this is a six right here. Cool. So, yeah, these two cancel each other. I have one success. I thought that was only three. I was like, really? All threes? <laughs> <laughs> Let me double check something super quick. <clears throat> okay, so you can roll me your stamina as well. DC6. So this will be separate. This is to see how much damage you soak. Just the stamina by itself? Yeah. Plus whatever stamina you get extra from Krenos. So he's able to summon reality? Because he's in a new form. Okay. Had he been so how many he wouldn't have been able to. I just need to double check the DC on it. Well, I got four. Okay. So you can erase four boxes. You're good. Was it lethal though? I can't remember. Uh, you You're in a new form, form. Oh. that can soak lethal. That's why it's marked differently because different forms can soak different things. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, then so now you can roll me your attack. Uh, okay. Because then you won't have lost dice. Fair. I just, I just had to double check the DC to make sure. One success. Okay. So then claw is plus one. So roll a. Dice, tell me if it's above six, or six and above. Four. Four, okay. So what's your Two plus four strength right now? Six. Yeah, so six. Six? Okay. So these... Question. What? Strength changes with Krynos. His dice pool would have raised if he's using a melee attack. His dex and brawl. Oh. Then Which is that? only plus one. Okay. Yeah, we're good there. I'm yep. just making sure, because there's Appreciate dice change in Krynos. Yeah. Yep. yep, that's why I was telling him to make sure that he had go. his strength. For the damage, correct. So yes, between the two of you with these sudden claw attacks, you gouge right across the throat and like you can see her head kind of tip back and like the the blood start gushing. However, you guys are in a frenzy. We're fighting each other now. The world goes black. No, we don't know. We're about to go out and kill some people. <laughs> Already something. Well, that's what they get for trying to for trying to syringe you, or not trying, syringing you. No, we're being in trying to stab Well, yeah, I'm assuming that we're probably going to pack Mentelli at this point. Because we're both werewolves. Shit. When you awaken again, you find yourselves in the back of a car. Your clothes are torn, you're bloodied, and you ache. You don't seem to have any wounds, however. Looking around, you can see a metal grate between you and the front part of the car and the all-too-familiar police uniform on a stern-looking older gentleman with white-gray hair and dark eyes. He's looking at the two of you through the rearview mirror worriedly. And that's where we end. Ah. Hmm. Interesting how she tied those two.